Hello everyone, I don't know what do. Today I'm going to show you a couple of little mods I did to my Jado and uh, what happened to it on the last run I did. Can't believe it, that thing already went out. But anyway, I want to give a big shout out to Iowa Budget RC Bashers, Thad and Grayson, sending me these stickers. Awesome, y'all check them out on YouTube, give them some subs, and all that good stuff, so, yep, thank y'all very much for the cool stickers, so, but, uh, let's see, I'm gonna go over here, that servo right there, the steering servo, and that was the first time I ran it in the yard, my Jado, I broke it in on the porch and there ran it. That was my first run in the yard. After I did the video, I ran it again in the yard just to run it. Finished running the uh the tank dry. The servo burnt on it. It went out. It, it didn't want to do nothing. Uh, uh, so luckily, when I changed the servo on my uh. My big Kyosho truck, and I had upgraded the uh, a big bigger servo for the steering to turn in big tires better. I had that one left over, and it fit right in there. Now she's got steering; she works real fine. Uh, let me show y'all. Let's see. I'm gonna turn it on here. Can't believe that thing went out already. But, uh, yeah, that turbo turns out good. So did that, and uh, did me a, a brake mod right there. Let me show y'all, and it works awesome, y'all, because this thing doesn't have real good brakes from the factory, because. This little arm right here, it's usually facing this way, on this side. And when you apply the brakes, it would push against this housing right here, and the whole thing would give. And it wouldn't, the brakes wouldn't grab good. So what I did was I flip under this screw, flip this little arm right here. Then you got to turn all your uh. Take the little arms off in there and stuff. And you got to undo this one right here. And flip it over. This whole piece right here. Turn it over and uh, put my... The little wire or whatever you want to call it. The little arm. You got to run them back in just like y'all see it right there. Like I have it. And talk about make a big difference on the brakes. Now, when you apply the brakes, it's got all that room to move. And it's not pushing against the housing right here. So, it's, it's got more room to move. You see, and it's not giving. When you hit the brakes, it's not pushing against this piece right here. And it's applying everything to that. And you got good brakes. And you, know, you fly the brakes. But they book a biting. And no brake. Hit the brake. Oh, yeah, she don't want to. See? And I'm trying to push it hard too. So. That's a little mod I did. Works great, y'all. And I said, if you want to do it, just flip the little arm over. Flip that other one over over here. And run your little arms in there. Like y'all see right there. That's how it's got to look when you're done. And it works great. Yep. She stops her. So. It's a cool little mod right there. And uh, also. I did my battery mod. So I to use them double A batteries in there. They don't last long. So, I just spliced the wire, 
soldered it together. I ran me a little two S lipo battery in there. It fits right in there. So that's the little battery. I got a bunch of those that came with my little cheap RCs that I did reviews on. They work fine in there. So and it lasts a while on the charge in there, so but that's all I want to show for today. And like I said, y'all check these people out right here. I will budget RC bashers. I check them out, give them some subs. Great people right there. Um, uh, yep, yep. Like I said, y'all want to do that brake mod? It's real simple. Yeah, just check it out. Reverse it over like y'all see right there. Real simple. It's not pushing against that housing no more. Just flip that little arm over. You got a lot more room for it to move. It pushes on that brake pad better. So awesome, awesome little mod right there. Works great. And a little battery mod. Yep, yep. I have to keep buying new double A batteries. And it works fine. Doesn't do nothing to the system. Cause I ran it. I do that with all my on my uh nitros and on two little two S batteries like that. I don't have to mess with them in the double E batteries, worrying about it them batteries killing on me and have a runaway or something. So yep, yep, you two S battery. Alright y'all. That's all I have to say for today. Do them little mods. The little brake mods is real easy, simple. And awesome. Y'all get it done. Alright. Everybody have a safe and blessed day. I'll and I'll see you do. Out. Awesome.